Hi and welcome to my polar bear painting demonstration. I'm going to start off with a drawing this time. So this is what we are going to be working towards. Polar bear scene, the water is really what attracted me to it. Lovely vibrant colours in there. And so I've got that on just a bit of board in front of a piece of paper. And I'm going to use these proportional dividers. So that I can measure off the actual um, photograph and then plot those marks down onto my drawing paper. Now I've just drawn some lines straight down and a centre line across as they can be anywhere as long as they're the exact same place on the um, reference drawing as well. So they just aid to get the points in the correct place. Now on YouTube I've got a full length demonstration just show, showing the actual drawing process of a, a rhino using proportional divider so I'm not going to duplicate all that on this video because it's going to add unnecessary times but it's just proportional dividers are just a really easy way um, to, to make sure everything is well proportional so it, you know perhaps you want to draw freehand you can do that as well but the good thing with proportional dividers they actually teach you how to see and look at the reference photos and to judge areas against each other so they actually teach you how to draw and as you become more proficient with them you'll use less and less points as well and do a lot more freehand so I'm just going to speed this section up so you can see the drawing progress and like I said if you want more details I've got a full length video on specifically on proportional dividers on my YouTube channel So you can see it's just barely a, a case of marking a point, doing your measurement. And I also use a marker then to mark the point actually on the reference photo. So I'm using a black Sharpie marker so that I know that the points actually match up as well. So I know which one to follow next. And do it pretty much in order. So when I'm working on the arms or the, the forelegs, I'm going from there then up the neck round to the head, you know, I'm, I'm doing it kind of in an order as well. And you can see I haven't done that many marks, but I know everything is pretty much in the correct places. And then I can just freehand and add a little bit of texture and show where the shadow areas are as well. Darken the lines up a bit. And the actual paper size to the right is a bit smaller than the painting is going to be, but I'm not interested in that. It's just a bit of open water, so I don't need to draw that in. I'm just interested in the actual polar bear and the rock and getting that in the correct position, really. So that's that pretty much done. So that's the drawing done on there and I've just put a little bit of shade in as well. Now the actual painting is going to be wider to the right hand side. So let's get on to that and have a look at the painting stage. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website. That's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the Easy Trace line art on there. I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on Patreon. And also if you have to even more reference photos, I've got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos. I think there's about 900 on there at the moment. So that's wildlife art hyphen online.com now please with my youtube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel then you're never going to miss out on new videos